Hey everybody, it's Amy Astro here and welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue building this Raza telescope out so I can start using it really, really soon. But today we're going to work on putting the camera up front and a filter and we're going to talk about which camera would be the most appropriate camera to use and yeah, we're getting it ready for first light. So follow me on this journey. So inside the box when I received this telescope had another little box with these little gadgets on here that kind of threw me for a loop on what were these for. And then I started reading the instructions, you know, go figure, that's actually helpful. And I realized that these are the plates that will connect to my camera and I have to choose which one's appropriate for me. Now this one here with the smaller hoe is for a C-mount lens. I'm not using it, a C-mount camera, which I'm not using. Um, a C-mount camera is the smaller cameras. I know um, Savani makes cameras that are C-mount, so if I was using that, this is the one I'd want. All right, and this one here with the larger hole on it, this one is for M42 connection camera, which is this pretty well the standard connection for like the ZWO cameras, all right? And this guy here is a retaining ring. So I know I'm using a ZWO camera. I'm gonna take this ring with the lip up and I'm gonna set it in this retaining ring. And in theory, I just have to screw this on the front. But before we go there, let's talk about our camera. Now, this is a ZWO ASI 183 Color Pro Cool. I've had it for quite some time. It's a one-shot one color camera, and it's an M42 connection. Once I add the uh, 11 millimeter adapter plate to it, that comes with the camera out of the box, okay? Now, in the manual, they suggest a camera with a diagonal across the sensor of 22 millimeters or less. This one is like 15.9 or 15.8 millimeters. So it will work great. And then because this mounts to the front of the, the plate here, this obstruction, you don't want it to be greater than 100 millimeters. So when I take my calipers and I measure it across the body and I find out that this is approximately 78 millimeters across, okay? So this will work just fine and I've got room to grow with a larger body camera. I'm not sure who makes the larger body cameras, but this is what I'm accustomed to. So now that I know that I'm using my ZWO camera, I want the M42 adapter plate. I want the retention ring and I'm gonna take them and I can screw it onto the front of this plate. But, there's always a but here. What if I wanted to use a filter? Well, filters obviously, if I put them on here, they're gonna be a little bit tricky to take in and out during an image session. But I've got a really good universal filter that they sent me, which is an H-alpha, H-beta, oxygen three, which will help me get the nebulosity to show up in my camera since I'm using a color camera not the traditional mono camera that I'm used to and they also included their transmission lines data here with the serial number for this filter now it shows me transmitting about let's say this is 95 96 percent at about 490 uh, newton meters and then along 660 Newton meters, I'm transmitting about the same, about 96, 97%. Um, so that's not horrible, you know, 100% is great, but you know, really this, this is still a quality. So all I need to do is install this on the front. To install this on the front, 
there is already another small piece of glass on here and I need to gently remove this glass okay now there's a little there's a couple slots in here so you can I use my fingernails and helps you loosen this up and I've already loosened it up a bit and then you gently take it out safely set this aside because you'll need this later another day later okay and now I'm going to take the filter they sent me and install it. Now this one also has a couple nice little notches on it that will help me install this. As with everything, dust bunnies are our enemy, so I'm going to get my air pump here, clean that off. I'm going to make sure that's as clean as I possibly can get it. I am not going to touch anything here. I don't want to damage any coatings. And I'm going to take this and thread it onto here. Of course, as I'm looking at this, I see spots on it. And I don't know if they're... Okay, they came off. Always... Take extra care in getting rid of some of these dust bunnies. Make less work for you later. All right, let's try this now. Trying to keep this level and not cross thread anything. There we go. I'm gonna get this finger tight. I don't wanna make it too tight because I do have to remove it later. And I'm just gonna use my fingernail here to Help me make sure he's good and snug in there because I don't want him jiggling around, you know, through the night and creating another vibration point for me. All right, so there he is. Let's take our M42 plate. And let's see, I guess I should put it in like this. And I'm going to, I'm going to blow this out too in case there's any dust in it. And we will gently put this on here. All right. Feels like there's a lot of threads going on in here, so I'm gonna take just a moment. There we go, nice and snug. I'm gonna take my 11 meter, 11 millimeter uh, spacer that came with my camera that helps me transition the threads that I need. Now this is supposed to have a flat field automatically, so me having to worry about back focus should not be an issue. But we're gonna find all that out soon enough. Now, if you're curious, I've already got a dew heater installed on this from my previous setup, and I've got the cable hanging off here. I've taped it down. I honestly don't even know if I need to plug it in, so I may have to just plug this cable down. Because if I try to take it off now, it's double-sided taped on. It's basically a once, install once, and then it's trash, and I don't, I'm not ready to trash it quite yet. So let's attach the camera. And this camera has a 2.4 micron pixel size. So it's nice and small. It should help me get some good detail. All right, he's on there. I guess if I had to, I could tape this down. Or maybe when I take the cables out, I'll just bundle him up with them and let them all go together. All right, so as you guys can see, this was really easy for me to put the camera on. I had to make sure I had the proper camera, which really this is made for most of the cameras that I'm aware of. I've got a filter in there that takes care of um, adding the nebulosity detail in. Since I'm using a one-shot color camera, I'm not ready, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the one-shot color camera on this for a while. And then, you know, curiosity is gonna kill this cat at some point. And I'm going to try my 1600 mono on here with some uh, filter holders and, and see how that goes. But since the filter is buried down in here, swapping it out in the middle of the night is not gonna happen. So I am planning an entire imaging run with this filter and using it that way, okay? But another thing that, you know, I have been spoiled with in the past is having a rotator. Uh, clearly, I am not going to be able to rotate these images at all. 
because I don't have a, a way to rotate this camera. I mean, because it's all threaded in nice and snug. But that's okay. I can handle this for a while. I mean, seriously, guys, it's F2. And uh, yeah, everything I needed came in the box. Nice and easy. Can't complain. So what's next for this guy? Well, I have a focus motor. And I cracked the top of that box, and I'll admit it's a little frightening. I'm going to have to read some instructions, and um, but don't worry, we're going to create a video that shows you how to install the focus motor. So guys, that's what I've got for you all today. Thanks for coming along with me for this journey. Thank you to Celestron for sending me this awesome gear. I will treasure it, and I will take very good care of it. I promise you, okay? So. I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that boilerplate stuff. Y'all know where to find me because y'all talk to me all the time. So until the next video, remember, I love each and every one of y'all. Goodbye, y'all.